go. He's got it. Talk about a stinger top to a two hybrid top to a wedge shot within a foot. Oh my. Wow. That honestly makes me feel like golf is just dumb. That's honestly immaculate. That's such a great, that's such a great shot. That's the game of golf. It's imagination right there. You don't really practice those shots. Think about it. People who hit it in the middle of the fairway, middle of the green, and then they three putt, make bogey. Oh, that hurts. I sting her top, top, and now I gotta putt, I gotta tap in for birdie. So that's why golf, is, I love it, it's a great sport. But when you read non-fiction books, fiction books, as a kid, you understand there's imagination. Have you ever read the book Puff the Magic Dragon? There he is, the man that's going down today. He made me look like a freaking piece of crap two months ago. I have been thinking about it the whole time, dreaming about it, the hair, the smile, the fast talking. I'm tired of it. I'm ready to take this guy down, okay? We are going 1v1 match play through nine holes. Me versus this guy. He has to give me three pots. Um, I'm taking him on one, five, and seven. All right, here we go. We've obviously got Bryce Butler, the man, the myth, the absolute legend um, out here. Taking taking Matt Eugene Sharf on. It's going to be a tough challenge out here for both of us. The conditions are hot. The conditions are sweaty. Um, so we're going to have to see what, uh, what B-Dog can do here. Ah, uh, high and straight out. High and right. All right, this video... I'm gonna be focused, man. I ain't gonna do a whole bunch of like crazy talking, uh, trying to be funny uh, with Matt. I'm gonna try to take this guy on head on seriously. I get a pop here. He didn't really hit a great tee shot, um, but I think there is room over here, straight away from the tee. So, see if I can make a nice recovery shot and get on close for the bird. Bryce Butler, unfortunately, he landed in the fescue here, but uh, he still kind of does have a shot, kind of. He's got an option here. He's got a giant uh, Garrett, little tiny twig here in front of him. He could try and play a rope draw around this tree or just take his medicine and punch it out right here and give him another shot into this green. Um, he doesn't really want to mess around too much here because if he does, he is not going to have a shot into the green. And I think I'm looking pretty good from where I'm at. So we're going to have to see what he does. Oh, no! That was almost perfect. No, he did not take his medicine. Bryce! All right. Get a low cut, low stinger out. Yeah, I mean, and it wasn't low enough. You should be all right. Well, maybe. Maybe we'll see. Dang! And we have found Bryce's ball. He's laying right there in the fescue, so he does have a shot into the screen. It's gonna be tricky. It's gonna be tough. Nothing this man can't handle. I've seen his workouts. He's fine. All right, I do get a pop here, so being on the green right here will be a huge play. Net birdie. Oh my gosh, she's making All right, I can see this hole. It's over. I'm done. I lost. I'm Bryce has one. made a mess of this hole, you guys. And I'm going to go one up in match play, he says. Oh, what happened? Where those guys end up high there on the second tee already? Because I conceded. I made a terrible. That's a bad hole for you, Bryce. I made it look very bad for myself. Right down the middle. New glove alert. New glove alert, new glove, new game. Facts. Mm, there's one. <laughs> there's a lot going on right now. My mind is scrambled right now. Come on, B. Figure it out. Did you see it? Yeah, I see it. All right. God. We'll figure it out, Bryce. Let's go! It's only the second hole. All right, we were able to find Bryce's ball. It actually did pop out of the trees and land here, so he's in a good position. Um, he said 280 out, so he's probably just going to give himself a, a wedge in or something. See if he can't get this up there. Just like that. That's pure. There we go. Now it looks like I can play golf. There we go. Great shot, middle of the fairway. All right, Matt has 128 to the flag stick. Really nice drive. Just in the first cut, um, 
right near the sand trap. Perfect angle in. This is where you want to be on this hole. That looks good. Just a little left. Be a long putt. Wow. I caught that really thin, you guys. Dang. That, that looked like a Sergio Garcia um, reaction right there. <laughs> 70 yards, sand wedge for Bryce. Can still get one back here. Um, this is his third shot. I am really, really far up, so I have a tough, tough birdie putt. But if he can get up and down here, this would be good. Good enough. Thanks. Not bad. It's not bad. He has a par putt. About 12 feet, maybe 15 feet putt. Up yeah. here a little bit. Man, has a long downhill putt here. I got a cool little uphill. I would like to be closer, but that's not how the cookie crumbles right now. Could have hit a better shot, but I didn't. Matt with the log cabin putter. Three putt territory. I gotta hit that, that's good though. I hit that, that's good. That's actually not a bad putt. Four par. Wet too. Yeah. Oh, he's got to give it a hit, Sally. Yeah, he needs to make this. All right, par putt for him to win the hole. I'm in for bogey. See what he has. Easy, never a doubt. Down two right now to Matt. Gotta step my game up, get my tee shots on point. Let's go. All right, par three. About a buck 67. A lot of wind. A lot of wind comes off the side there. And it comes from up there because we're going downhill right now. It's going like that, so. Um, it swirls up there, it pushes kind of at you. Um, I'm down two right now. Gave the first one away. Whew! That was bad. And now, we are on hole three. This is when I'm on my comeback. Oh, nice. He's holding the finish. Oh, nice. Good shot, brother. Bryce, you're literally in trouble. All right. I don't see. know what's going on with my game, but it is feeling so good. Nope. Nope. I, for some reason, Bryce, I was on the same wavelength as you, and I knew you weren't hitting that. Did that you guys have seen? Weird. 10 birdie challenge. I did the same thing. Yes. Yes, sir. Get up there. Crawl up there. That's there. All right, my groove is coming back. You saw me like Tiger right there, the step away. Guys, the biggest thing that I learned about golf, listen to your first instincts. If you try to take the ball, if you try to hit the ball, and you know in the back of your mind that it doesn't feel right, stop, step away. Some people have a hard time doing it, but it's only because there's a mental block that tells you not to since you already started. And it worked out for me well right there. All right, Bryce obviously taking his time at this putt. He wants to really make it, which, yeah. I mean, yeah, he wants to try to make it. So he is putting uphill, which is very ideal for him. Go, go. Wow, that was a straight up putt. I got myself a solid putt. I was about a foot away from spinning this back down the hill. Which would have been pretty cool, but nonetheless, we've got ourselves a downhill slider. He's in three putt, three putt territory though. He is putting downhill. It's gonna be a fast one. Hit it, that's it, Matthew. That's a little meaty. A I might make him putt it just because I'm down two and I need to do something here. Knee so he's gonna putt it. I believe he, it'll go in. Easy, never a doubt. Gosh, man, I Are you kidding line. me? Why did I make him put that? <laughs> All right, driver will par four here. Um, Matt said he has more to lose than anything, so he's just gonna hit a hybrid here. Uh, we have the wind behind us. He is aiming for a power draw here. 
Oh, nice, it's turning. Oh my God. Oh my. Right in that gully. Dang, you hit that far, bro. That was a hybrid, like 290. Yeah, that's about 290, 300. Just because of the wind. This is a hole that Bryce needs to, he needs to be a wedge out and needs to make birdie, literally. A little to the right, I don't know. All right, so his hybrid definitely went 300 yards. This is like a 350 yard hole. Um, and he's 44 yards away from the pin. So 17 degree hybrid, high tailwind, smashed it. My ball is up, it is over there, I can see it. And now Matt has a 44 yard shot. shot. Oh, I just thinned it. Sick. Thinned it a little. That's over. It's off the back. So where's, that's the toughest thing about golf, man. Bombing a tee shot and then not getting the green and red when he could have putted it up there. I literally, yeah. I was just... All right, so then Bryce landed right here. Obviously, his ball stayed in. <laughs> but talk about a shot that he does not want. Like, he's has to, he has to play a bump right into that hill and it has to bounce up. Honestly, anything on the green is literally insane. Oh, my. Wow. That's honestly immaculate. That's such a great, that's such a great shot. That's the game of golf. It's imagination right there. You don't really practice those shots, but when you read nonfiction books, fiction books as a kid, you understand there's imagination. Have you ever read the book Puff the Magic Dragon? Yes. Have you ever uh, watched, uh, 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 what's the, the closet, the lion and the, uh, Lion King? No, no, not, <laughs> not Lion King. Uh, the, uh, the lion, oh. Have you ever watched The Lion Wolf in the Wardrobe? Yes. All that imagination right there. Yeah. That's where that shot comes into play. Right. He just thinks about getting the job done with, with, with fiction and non-fiction movies, and that's honestly insane. This is a tough shot right here. He's going to have to get it up and down. Um, he is back behind the green. Uh, it runs definitely to the sand trap false front right here. All right. See how many non-fiction books, fiction books he's read as a kid. Oh. I've read a lot too, oh. Bryce. Oh. I've read a lot too, Bryce. Oh. Great shot. Great shot. All right, Bryce now. He knows what he needs to do. He knows how important this putt is. Oh, he doesn't leave it high enough and that's not a gimme either. All right, he's just going to he's just going to focus in and tap this in for par. Just like that. All right. Good par by Bryce. I didn't leave that putt high enough. Um, if you guys know me and my game, I really don't like putting off the green, even though that was like three inches off the green. Uh, I don't feel confident aiming my putter without my ball lines. Um, so I like to chip, but I definitely wasn't going to chip that one. It was a little too far downhill. Which yeah, he did. did. I did. I literally did. So I got one back. Now I am down one. Great shot from out the trail, baby. All right, par five. You haven't played this one yet? From the blacks, no. I've not played this hole from the blacks, but it's definitely driving from back here, especially going into the wind. Aim at those left bunkers, turn it in a little bit. I can't carry that bunker on the right, I don't think, anymore, unless I hit a massive hooks or something, but I'm not doing that. Still one up in the match. Let's see what happens, par five, definitely eagleable. Right is definitely dead, but there is a little bit more room on the left, not very much. Give me a little cut. Yeah. Little one. That's going to be close. Stay. Okay, hit, hit the trees. It hit the trees. I think he dropped straight down. I think you'll be all right there. Whew. You cut Ooh. that kind of close, Bryce. Yeah, I did. It's like a power cheddar. I was looking for a little cheese there, a little Swiss, and I got sharp. Low stinger. Honestly, that ball will be okay over there. To the left? Yeah. The All right, way. we both hit decent, not so great tee shots. He's been hitting his driver a little low. Yeah, he doesn't really want to mess with this. I mean, this is a tough shot to just get where it needs to be. Great shot. Good. 
Good position on the far left side up there. Should have a shot into the green. Good. 230, playing more like 250, win in the face. Protected by the trees back there. Ah, the bunker. That was so good, though. That was such a good shot. All right. Sounded good. It was, it was right. It was exactly what I, I had to play low draw into there. Three iron. I had to take a lot off of it, but I just didn't think five was enough. But we're fine. We got a bunker shot. If you like what you're seeing right now, hit the subscribe button. Hit the thumbs up button on the bottom. Also, ring the bell for the notifications. Um, we will have more videos. This is a lifestyle channel right now with what's going on. The lifestyle of Duffel is golf right now. Um, there are no red carpet events. There are no sporting events. Um, there are no, we're working out. I have a workout video set up and ready for you guys to pop, but there is nothing else really going on right now outside of being able to golf with my buddies. So let's get it. I just, I don't know how else to say it, but he just puts himself in some tough positions. This is gettable. Um, he just he can go over these trees easily. He's got obviously a lob wedge and, and a little little flopper ropper in there, but Go get up That's there, there. That's there Nice shot all right. He's got that one. Too. He's got that for birdie, right? For bird, baby. For birdie right there. Great shot. Fiction books, baby. Fiction books. Read them so you can hit shots like that. You see the pin? You see Matt's ball? He has another tough shot right here. That's a high lip. They have that cocaine white sand trap, which is beautiful. It's to me, it's really nice and really it's easy to get out of. Degrees hotter than anything else. But it's super hot though. It is really hot when you pull up on it. No way. Great shot. Freaking go! Great shot. All right, Duffel. Now, obviously, in the background back there, you can see my T mark. This is a big putt for him, because um, I'm telling you right now, my putt. I'm not missing my putt. Um, that's a birdie putt too. Yeah, that's a birdie putt for me. So, honestly, my three iron probably would have been six feet. I mean, I was literally pin high in the in the greenside bunker, so um, it would have been a great shot. But nonetheless, Duffel now needs to focus on trying to make this birdie, guys. Go, he's got it. Go, and he's got it. Woo! Big putt, put some pressure on him. Good putt right there. Thank you. Let's go. Good nice Alright, so I'm back to my actual game, man. I'm dialed in right now. Uh, I know I conceded the first hole. That would have been probably a triple bogey, so we'll take that. Um, and ever since then, I have been one over. Well, even actually, I just birdied right there. So ever since the first hole that was conceded, I've been playing even. So I would say I'm just three over right now. So. Got to keep it rolling. This is probably the toughest hole on the front nine just because it's the only hole with water and everything slides to the left, as you will see. Oh, this is just in. Red alert, ticker tape at the bottom. Stock just went up. ESPN just went up. Let's go. I forgot hole number five, the one that we just played. I get a stroke on Matt. So he birdied, I birdied. That means I got an eagle. It was eagleable. I said it was eagleable. It was eagleable. You know, so um, I guess I got an eagle. I didn't even know it. So we are back to all square. Drop that down right there. Feeling good about that. So we're going into five. I got that Rory chest pump right now. That Seminole chest pump. Feeling good. Let's get it. All right, Matt going driver here. The play is to be on that bunker on the right that you see right there because everything funnels down to the left. Oh, no. You want to hit a provisional? Nice right, provisional. Provisional shot here. That looked like it was right down the middle, but he's chasing it. That go right too? Yeah, I saw that one though. Okay. God dang it, dude! I'm hitting these right. He might need that. He might need to be going to the range before he plays now. All right, folks. We've been searching for his ball off camera for a while. Oh, hey! Oh, man! We just found it. Oh God! Whoa! See, it's hey, is that thick? 
Well, I mean, it's the ball so above my feet, my club has to sit like this. Oh. All right, well, let's go hit that again. That's got to sit hard. Ooh. Yeah, it's long. As I mentioned, he didn't change his club. I didn't change my club, and I just kind of caught a flyer, but that's all right. We're uh, we're chipping for par. Pretty nice, even flat lie. Got 188 to the pin, uh, about 167 to the front. So I think I'm gonna just hit a hit a nice little seven iron right here and get it as close as possible. Got chunky that might and be water. no, it might be bunker. Oh, he just dropped in I the bunker. I thought going the green. That was so close to being on the green. He's just in the bunker there. Um, yeah, let's see what happens. This is his par shot. If he hits it over the green, I'm pretty sure he'll concede here. Um, he's got to hit a tight shot here. Frick! Just shoot. God dang. He didn't make it to the green, unfortunately. Now I got a sand shot that's over here. Is that a little long? But he is on the green surface. Oh, yeah, I know. Pure white sand traps. And he has got that for par. Bogey chip actually from off the green, but he's electing to put it. Gosh, I thought it oh. Do you want to concede? No. Okay, smart man. You might three putt Where's that. respecting the game? Looking to try to make a par here. Yeah, and that's basically a tap in bogey there. He will go back. He's actually one up right now, going into par five where he has a stroke. So good for him. The charisma that Matt had in the beginning, it's not there. His volume is low, his head is down. This is a drivable par five. I don't think I've hit a bad shot on this one yet since we've been playing it. And hopefully I can hit another one right here. Just boring golf right down the pipe. Let's get it rolling. Oh. Oh no. That one may be gone. A provisional may be intact. Yeah, I might have did a provis. Oh. oh. Hit a smoothie. The hat came off. The focus is up. He's dialed, folks. Ooh. Oh, stinger. Wow. Stay, stay left, stay left. It did. All right, well, that's going to be. He's right there, like five yards on the left side of the same track right there. It'll work better than my shot. All right, Bryce now going to hit his provisional. That's fine. Yeah, that one be all right. It, it really goes hard left up there, so he'll be all right. That may or may not be his third shot. We'll check out, see where his first one is, if it's in play or not, but that's when things get interesting, folks. And so we tried to look for my ball, so the provisional ball is what we'll take. Um, my man has 300, 300 out. Oh, not today. that'll work. A little dribble. Kept it below the wind. It's a little stinger, low little stinger. Kept <laughs> it below the wind. Now, I hate when I try to swing too hard with this club. I had to take his provisional, so this is his third shot. Um, ball's gonna be above his feet, so it's gonna be a difficult little shot. My fourth shot. I hit my third back there. Oh yeah, that's right. This is your fourth shot. One in the weeds, two drop hitting three, three to here. This is for your four. Sorry. Um, so yeah, it's gonna be interesting to see what he does. I've got a little bit of a leg up here, obviously, but still a tough hole, and he can still he can still pull something out here. So we'll see what happens. Oh, go! Look at short. Yeah, it rolled right up the middle and then rolled down. It's like right by that red center. That right center. Dang. Dang, that was a nice shot. That I had to so choke clean. down on it though because it was above my feet. Right, ball above his feet and he hits a fantastic shot. So, <laughs> this is the trusty dog. I don't hit trusty anything. hybrid. You should be hitting that all day. I should Everyone. have a, a pitching wedge hybrid. Uh, <laughs> every hybrid. 
we'll let him make the mistake. I'll make my bogey. Um, or I, I chip in for par. Maybe I already eliminated that option by saying I'll make my bogey. Oh. Spin. Well, that looks like it's tap in. Good shot. Good shot. Talk about a stinger top to a two hybrid top to a wedge shot within a foot. How do you feel? How does that make you feel? It honestly makes me feel like golf is just dumb. You get people who hit it, think about it, people who hit it in the middle of the fairway, middle of the green, and then they three putt, make bogey. Oh, that hurts. I stinger top, top, and now I gotta putt, I gotta tap in for birdie. So that's why golf is, just, I love it, it's a great sport. I forgot that I get a, a pop here. So basically it's like I'm playing this whole, like it never happened now since I put a ball away. So um, technically, if that would have been three out of the tee box, now it's two. The last shot was three. Um, so if I put this one in right now, it's for birdie. No. Right? Yeah? No? Yeah? It's a tough chip for Bryce. He's got no green to work with. He's got a big ridge in front of him that he needs to try to carry. But can't carry too far or else he'll, he'll be way past the hole. And I've got that for birdie there. So let's see what he can do here. See, that is the issue with that stay. All right, whew. That is for his par. He needs to try to make that and um, so he can he can still get one here. He wants a chance, the ball starts rolling as he make it. He leaves it short and does not give it a chance. That's not even a gimme. Bryce, you gotta get that sucker there, man. Oh, this all's over. We are all square going into eight. How do you feel going into the last two? Mm. I honestly feel pretty good. I, uh, I, I've, I mean, I've almost thrown it away on a, well, I have thrown it away on a couple holes, and I honestly got pretty close to throwing it away on that last one, but, um, luckily enough, you know, my ball was able to stay in the fairway. I literally did a top top, so, I mean, it's hard, I can't believe I still made a par after a top top, so, um, we're all square, we're coming to the last two holes, I just gotta stay dialed in, play some good golf, um, and I think this will be a showdown. This is when the pressure sets in. This is what sets guys apart, like Tiger, sets guys apart. Like Jordan, Kobe, LeBron, Steph Curry, those guys, Phil Mickelson, you know? So, feeling good about it. Mono y mano, two holes left, all square. This is the only way you can imagine it. It's all you want. See who comes out victorious. Let's get it. Go. Go! That looks like it's there. That's on the green. Oh, he just hit her off the toe, but it was so good. Dang, he's got some work to do, folks. I'm pin high. It's not a bad shot, just right. Have that uh, sprinkler head right in front of my ball, so do I get relief from that if I decide to putt? It's a great question to ask my competitor. And he put a nice shot in there. Um, I'd say about 15 feet. All right, Bryce is elected to chip this here. It's honestly a smart play. This would be a tough putt. Um, a tough putt to get close to the green. See what he can do. <laughs> oh, he tried to play the hill That's and- so hard. That's so long. That might roll down that hill there. That is. You guys, he hit, I think he just hit the hill and it took all the spin off of it and just released it forward. Wow. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. Wow. So you're technically, you're technically not out of this. He's not out of this hole yet because he can still, uh, he can still obviously make that or chip that in. Um, but I'm going to go ahead and putt, and if I do make mine, the whole lot will obviously be over, and he can decide to, um, and if I make par, he can, you know, go up and try and make it. That's a par. If you, if you bind it, if you put it in. I never even gave that a chance of pissing me off. Par. The par there. All right, let me see if I can put it in. 
All right, and actually with these shots, you do not want to overcomplicate them. You just more of a feel shot, so. Bryce now. Ah, oh, he didn't get it. He didn't get one. Left did you short there. He did that two times in a row, dog. Two times in a row. He does not like in the duff from Duffel. Think about it. Um, last hole, hole number nine. Bryce has to have the uh, the winning mentality of wanting to win the hole, and I just have to have the mentality of just trying to tie it just because if we tie, I obviously I'll, I'll win one up. But um, I don't know. Bryce will probably get aggressive and see what he can do there. All right, short par four. Not drivable, but short. There he is. That's the trusty. Love this club. Yes, you do. Got it high. Left the wind take it a little bit. That'll probably be about 280, 290. Good shot, bro. All right, though. Bryce got the three wood in hand. And he's got to put this out in the fairway. There you go. Didn't hit it great, but right down the middle. See this divot right here? Yeah, that divot, like, you almost missed the ball, Bryce. I almost missed it, but... See, look at his divot. That's his divot right there. And then the tee was here, and he, like, nicked the ball with the toe, and it went straight. Wow. I'll take it. <laughs> there you go. That's me on the right. Hit a bad shot. But he hit a 19 degrees. That Was that 19 that's a 19 That's a three iron, yeah. Yeah, so... Oh, oh no, Bryce. Are you serious? David was so good, it was literally right at the pin. What? <laughs> Dang. All right, here we are, 70 duffel. Yards. 70 yards, third shot. There we go, see? It's obviously a little long, but the ball position a little farther oh! back. Oh crap that went off. No. Are you kidding? That was like Hey but ball hey ball position back you hit a good shot though you can't complain about that. Dang Alright and Duffel landed in that little sprinkler head so he's got this he's gotta try to chip this in because all, all I have to do is two putt that for par um and take a dub here but he can't chip this in this is very chippinable. Oh, oh my that was a good run at it. Great run at it though, gave it a chance. Okay. Good job, man. Dang. All right. So the only way I win this is if he hits three strokes from here. And I'm in for bogey. This is birdie shot. So he would have to go three, four, five for me to tie. But it doesn't do anything. Yeah, I'd have to four putt. You have to four putt from here. Turn. Well, ladies and gentlemen, that is a par, and that is a win for Matt Eugene Sharp. Boom. Matt. Dude, that was one heck of a Coming ball. right off the front nine right there, you put in the last par putt to win the match. How are you feeling? I'm honestly, I'm feeling really good. You know, I came, I came in this thing, you know, prepared and ready, um, kind of. You know, I just got done doing a filming thing, but... I was up too, and I was feeling really good. The strokes, the the shots, everything I hit were exactly what I wanted to do. Couldn't miss started, a shot. Couldn't yeah, miss a couldn't shot. Couldn't miss a shot. And then all of a sudden, freaking hole three came around, and I went way right and then chunked, and then had a really terrible hole. And then Bryce came in, and he he started to dominate, and uh, and then we started to become tied to the last two holes. And mentally, I was just like, I got to be there. I got to be strong because you know, Bryce is a competitor. He's gonna come out here and compete, and try to win, obviously. So. Um, I just stayed focused and played some good golf and, and was able was luck, lucky and able enough to, to take the dub out here. Good win today, Matt. Thank you. We will continue the comp the competition. Oh heck yeah. Um, you point are point. up on me right now, I think two to one. I got you in the birdie challenge down in Silicaga. Yep. You got me in our little quick uh, three hole match down there. Yep. And then you got me right now on the, the, the nine hole match, match play match. Yep. I'm not happy about it, but I am happy we competed. It felt good yeah, like to go it, out there and compete. It came down to the last hole. I mean, I love I love when matches come down to the last hole. Same thing with me and Micah. The matches come down to the last hole, and it's fun to fun to see the outcome and see what happens. Ladies and gentlemen, it is a game of runs. You have to keep your head in it at all times. He went up two early, then I got up up one, then he came back and tied it, and then just took advantage of the last two holes. He wins two up. 
ladies and gentlemen, that is your winner right there, Matt Eugene Sharp. Great competitor, Thank you. great player, and a great way to win. Yeah. Signing off. We will see you next time. Duffel out.